Hey guys, today is another back to school tutorial and this video I'm going to be showing you how to customize your own clothespins for an organizational tool that's really helpful or just some really cute and kawaii decoration for school. You're going to be needing some clothespins obviously in any color, shape, or size and then I'm going to be using these two colors of glitter by Recollections. You're going to need some Mod Podge, some paintbrushes or ball tool, some Craft Smart chalkboard paint or any brand, I got this at Michael's, and also some other acrylic paints like white and black. And this is optional, but if you want it to be a magnet, you're going to need some magnet tape and also a glue gun. So for the first clothespin, you're going to need these materials. And to start off, you're just going to take your Mod Podge, I know mine's dirty, and you're going to just paint it on to the top of the clothespin. And you can do the sides as well, but that's all I like to do. Then I'm going to sprinkle on some glitter. Don't worry about being messy with your glitter because you can take your paper and make it into a funnel and pour the glitter right back so you won't waste any. And now you can just go ahead and repeat this with as many clothespins as you want. Once they've dried for about 10 minutes, I'm going to take another layer of Mod Podge and just paint it on. And then I'm going to sprinkle some more glitter to give it a little bit more of an opaque look. And then finally you're going to paint another layer of Mod Podge and let this dry for about an hour. This will keep the glitter from falling off and getting everywhere. And for the second type of clothespin we're going to be making, I'm going to be using this chalkboard paint. And all you have to do is paint on the clothespin with the paint. And this is so simple. The chalkboard paint is really affordable. And it's a great way to make custom notes on your clothespins, especially for school. Next, I'm going to be making some character clothespins, and I chose Real Kuma and his friends, so you're going to be needing all of the materials that fit for your character. And I like to have my phone with the picture out so I know what I'm supposed to be doing and how it's supposed to look. So first, I'm just going to draw on the face. And for Real Kuma, I'm going to paint the clothespin a light brown. Next, I'm going to paint the second clothespin a light yellow. And the third clothespin will be a really light tan color. You really hear me mesmerize, and now it's something about the way you do, but you not. And now I'm just going to paint on my details using the ball tool and for the snout I'm going to be using some white for the eyes and the mouth and the nose I'm going to be using some black and you can add as much detail as you want I'm just kind of going really simple with this Me now, cause it's kind of been like a drink. I got shades on my head, my feet in the sand. And once you're done painting all the details, you're done with all of your clothespins. And once they're dry, you can use them for school, for anything, and they're so helpful for organization. So, just here's some ways you can use them. So I'm also going to be having another back to school theme giveaway. So this one is going to be for my Twitter friends. So if you don't have a Twitter, don't worry, I'll be having another giveaway soon. And all you have to do to win some of the clothespins I made in this video and some more is to follow me on Twitter, go to my page, and retweet my tweet that has the link to this video in it. I will pick a winner, a random person who retweeted that tweet on September 1st in my Clay Contest winner video. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And I want to know when you guys go back to school. So make sure you let me know in the comments below. 
and I would love to hear from you guys. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and subscribe for more. Bye.